Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this uh, short video, I suppose my first video dealing with the concept of mathematical induction, uh, I suppose first of all we're going to define what the process is. Uh, and we're also going to show a quick proof by induction and in later videos or in videos that are going to follow this videos we'll do more complicated examples of proofs by induction uh, this is one particular proof mathematical proving strategy it doesn't have to be we don't have to use mathematical induction although induction is a very good technique for certain types of problems uh, where you want to prove uh, that one identity is equal to another identity uh, but we can use uh, proofs uh, direct proofs and we can also uh, use proofs by contradiction that we have seen before in other videos but let's concentrate on mathematical induction i suppose it's a three-step process okay so it's a three-step uh, a three-step technique okay and um, the first the first step within the technique is that we prove we prove a statement true we prove a statement okay a statement uh, true for a specific value a specific value okay uh, the starting point is typically n is equal to 1, okay, so with respect to the statement we put in n is equal to 1 and we show that the statement is true when this value is substituted in, uh, but it doesn't have to be n is equal to 1, it could be n is equal to 2, uh, or it could be we start off at n is equal to 10, it could be any particular value, okay. Uh, usually where we start from is given from, uh, from the problem itself, in other words if we want to prove something true for all n greater than or equal to 1, well we should start with 1. If we want to prove true uh, some statement true for all n greater than a thousand or greater than or equal to a thousand we should start with a thousand okay? but the first step in the process is to is to prove a statement true for a specific value uh, the next step in the process is to assume is to assume the statement the statement the statement is true okay okay for a general value okay so assume the statement is true uh, for for all values let's say for all values up to up to a a general value a general value okay so in other words we usually try to show or we assume that the statement is true for all values up to n is equal to n is equal to k okay so the first step is to show it's true for a specific value uh, the next step is to assume it's true for all values up to some general value and then the third step which is the inductive step okay is based on these assumptions based on this assumption okay and also the base case is what we want to do is we want to show okay I want to show that the statement the statement okay is true is true for n is equal to k plus 1 okay or prove that the statement is true for n is equal to k, k plus 1 after making this assumption okay and what we effectively get then is this is that we know so the induction the induction is this is that is that we know we've we've just shown that the statement is true for n is equal to k plus 1 based off the assumption here okay but we've proven it true for n for for n is equal to 1 so because we've shown it true for n is equal to 1, it must be true for n is equal to 1 plus 1, which is n is equal to 2. Okay? And now that's true for n is equal to 2, it must be equal to, uh, true for n is equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And so on and so forth. Okay? So this is actually how the induction process, process works. Let's consider a a straightforward example first of all okay and maybe in the in the next video uh, we'll actually have a something have a look at something a little bit more complicated okay so i mean a standard a standard example is looking at let's say <coughs> the sum of the first n numbers okay uh, let's say uh, prove prove by induction okay induction okay uh, that let's say the sum of the first n numbers okay let's say that one plus two plus three all the way up to some specific number that if you were to sum up a finite sequence of numbers okay that actually what you get is the summation can be simplified to be uh, n over two times n plus one okay that the sum of a finite sequence of numbers okay starting at one all the way through up to a specific number is actually equal to the the final number in in the in in the in the in, in the series okay uh divided by two times the final number in the series plus one okay so we need to try to prove that this is actually true so let's let's follow our process so in step one okay step one let's prove the statement is actually true for a specific value okay so let's prove